Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So, what a long day actually. <laughs> what a long day, but we're here, like I said in the other videos. Even when you don't feel like it, if you're tired or stressed out, let's keep showing up because we have a purpose and we have a mission to accomplish, right? But in this video, I want to talk about our mind, right? And the thoughts that we have in our minds and how they are in our mind for a reason. And those thoughts continue to travel even into our sleep. And this brings me to a story that I want to share with you guys. I used to have a reoccurring dream where I would be a passenger in a car. But guess what? There was no driver in the car. The car was like driving itself. And I was one of the passengers. I was usually like in the back seat, not even on the not even not even on the seat that's next to the passenger. And I would sit there and the car would drive. And I would have like this feeling inside of me, like if something was wrong, but I just couldn't tell what it was exactly like in my mind or in the moment. And so I would think to myself, huh, why do I keep dreaming that I'm a passenger and I'm sitting in one of the back seats of the car, nobody's driving the car, and I had the feeling inside of me like something is wrong. And I felt in the moment like, oh my God, I want to drive the car, but I don't know how to drive the car. You know how, how in your dream, sometimes you become numb? And I actually didn't know how to drive in real life. So in the dream, I wouldn't have been able to even drive this car. And I just kept dreaming about that and dreaming about that, like, you know, throughout the months, throughout the years. And I would say, like, why am I dreaming about this? Why am I dreaming that I am in a car? There's no driver. I'm the passenger. And I, and I felt this feeling that was wrong and that I would like to drive the car, but I didn't know how to drive the car. But as we are humans, right? Like we, uh, <laughs> sometimes we're hard-headed, right? And in the past, I used to think like, I don't need to learn how to drive. I don't need to drive because I have the New York City transportation. Um, I can get there like more easily, it's cost efficient. You know, it's not going to cost so much money as having a car. And I have goals that I'm saving for. So I don't need that in my life. But guess what? It came to a point in my life where I said, no, it would be great to learn how to drive. It's a great skill. Not only is it a great skill, but then fast forward in the future when I had kids, then I thought like, wow, if I knew how to drive, my life would be easier in a sense. I would be able to get to places with my kids more safely, right? Even driving safely, because all you can all you can do is like control yourself in the car when you're driving, right? We have no control over how others are going to drive, but you know, you hope for the best. But the fact that you know you would have your kids in the car instead of taking the public transportation, that you would be able to go to far places, right? And things like that, like. I mean, you guys know all the benefits there is to driving. So those were thing, uh, things that I would actually think about. Um, so yeah, fast forward into the future. I learned how to drive. I learned how to drive last year. Oh my gosh. I thought I would never, ever learn how to drive. Not only like it was not in my plans, not, you know, it was all, it was not in my plans, but also I would say like, oh my God, how am I going to learn how to drive? That is going to be so hard, but no, it's actually steps as everything in life, right? You set a goal for yourself and then you have steps to accomplish it. And I said, I would take the classes and I took so many classes, like hundreds of classes, but I learned how to drive. Yes, and you can do it too. Like, you will feel amazing if you don't know how to drive yet. 
it's going to be a very liberating and freedom-like feeling because you feel like um, an independence in a sense, like that you're able to do something that's that you may have thought was hard, but it's actually doable. And each each yeah each time that you actually drive, you actually get better. So yeah, fast forwarding into the future. I um, learned how to drive last year and, you know, I've been driving this year and I actually haven't had that dream anymore that I'm in the back of the car as a passenger, that nobody's driving the car. I haven't had that dream anymore like that. I've actually recently had a dream where I was in a car and I'm pretty sure I was in the driver's seat. But it wasn't a matter of like, oh, now I'm the passenger. No, like in my dream, I was um, driving the car. I had the power to drive the car. And like I told you guys before, I had that feeling of not having the power to do that before in my dream, right? Because I wasn't actually doing it in real life. So it's definitely something to consider. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.